Meanwhile, immigration targets she didn't even know existed get scrapped. Good evening. Whatever your week's been like, thank your stars. You haven't had to abandon a bunch of immigration targets you didn't appear to realise existed, just thinking of staying in the game. Her position is, of course, complicated by the fact she can't blame her predecessor of any targets existing, and now those non-existent targets have been axed. How does that make sense? Two years ago, I mean, this was made absolutely clear um, that the government as a whole knew about it two years ago. Inadvertently make live a debate that the PM herself uh, assumed was closed. Just one more story before we leave domestic politics alone. Downing Street has confirmed tonight they'll be hosting the US President Donald Trump for a working visit. Well, I'm hearing from ministers, one minister who's particularly critical of the state visit. Between leaders from the two countries in more than a decade, the talks begin an hour later in the village of Panmunjom. John Sweeney has reported before from inside North Korea. Here's his take on Kim's game. That was John Sweeney, and joining us now to discuss as former Clinton cabinet secretary and former US ambassador. Do you believe that Donald Trump is being played, or do you think you have optimism about that? Theirs is, then. In his own way, has got further than any previous US administration has with North Korea. The Washington Post has called it one of the most thundering falls from grace in American cultural history. Bill Cosby is tonight facing jail. A number of other women who also accused Bill Cosby of sexual assault spoke in the trial. One of the accusers, Lily Bernard, gave her reaction to the verdict outside the court. He will fight that verdict. But joining us now, the American singer-songwriter Amanda Palmer joins us. Has been prompted um, by the Me Too movement, or has it... Would it have happened anyway? Do you think that Me Too has actually started to change and harassing the civil groups who challenge his new agenda? His election campaign focused on a single message, the need to stop migration. Alan Little with that report, and that is all we have time for. Kirsty is here tomorrow. Till then, from all of us here, good night.